Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to set preferred node orders for SQL Server failover. In this demo, we'll be learning what is preferred node order. Number two, how to change failover settings. Either it's going to be manual or automatic. Number three, how does preferred node settings work? So let's talk about preferred node order. Uh, whenever you install any application that is clusterware, such as SQL Server, you can set up the preference of that particular application that which node that particular application is supposed to be on so that is the preference of the node so let's say that you have a two node cluster or three node cluster and you have two application or three applications uh, let's say in my example it is two SQL Server instances what I want is one SQL Server instance run on one node uh, node one and other SQL Server instance I want it to run on node two so that is my preference that's why we call it preferred node order. So how does it basically work when it comes to the failover cluster settings? I'll show you in a second. And um, we will we'll, uh, go and uh, change some of the failover settings and uh, wanted to make sure that you understand what is manual and automatic. If it the failover setting of any application such as SQL Server is set to manual, then it's going to wait for your uh, input. Let's say the SQL Server failed over. Um, keep in mind that when you set preferred node order, that doesn't mean that it's not going to fail over to the failover node. If something happened to the active node where that particular application is running, it is going to fail over to the failover node. But here when we talk about change failover settings means fail back. So obviously it is failed over to a uh, passive node at one point you want it to go back to its preferred node then there are two options in failover settings one is manual other is automatic if we have set up the automatic failover settings that means that uh, as soon as the preferred node is up and running that uh, particular application in my case one of the SQL Server instance that I wanted to run on node 1 if node 1 came up online it's gonna go back automatically to that node and if it's manual then it's going to wait for a DBA input DBA has to manually go in and look at just the setting that oh, okay that's so um, SQL Server instance one supposed to run on node one let me go ahead and basically fail back to node one so let's go ahead and take a look on my uh, SQL Server uh, settings right here on the failover uh, manager here's my node keep in mind that I'm connected with TBS node 2 you can uh, use failover cluster manager on any of the node that is added in your cluster so let's go ahead and take a look on our cluster in my case the TBS 2012 cluster dot tech brothers dot local is my cluster name and right here are the roles right now in my setting I have two SQL Server instance SQL Server prod and SQL Server UAT. As you can see that SQL Server prod is running at this moment TBS node 1. It is running on node 1 and SQL Server UAT right here it's running on TBS node 2. So what we're going to do basically uh, we will change some settings but I wanted to show you that I have two node right here. One is TBS node 1 and other is TBS node 2. Uh, right now the node 2 is joining. It's not basically up and online. Let me go ahead and basically refresh that. I, I believe that it is online. So right here it's online. Both my nodes are online. So what I want to do when you click on roles, this is where you, uh, in, when you install any clusterware application, it comes as roles. So in my case, SQL prod is one instance that is in roles. SQL UAT is another instance of SQL Server that is uh, uh, in the roles as well. So what I want to do, if you click on any um, application right here, the role, SQL Server prod, you will see up here the preferred owners. If you're using SQL uh, operating system uh, 2012 and looking at the failover cluster manager, this is the view you will see. But if you're using 2008 R2 Windows, then it would be on the right side right here, the preferred node setting in action pan. You can basically go and take a look. But in 2012, this is how it looks like. So if you wanted to change the preferred owner, click on any node right now. Um, it says that it's any node it's not there's no preference for this SQL Server instance to go on so in my case if I 
um, this is my scenario that I want SQL Server Prod to run on node 1 so I'll select that and I will apply and click OK and I want SQL Server UAT to run on node 2 so I'll click on any node click on TBS node and click apply this means that basically I uh, this UAT SQL UAT is supposed to run on uh, actively run on node 2 that doesn't mean that it wouldn't fail over to node 1 it would if node something happened to node 2 and same with SQL Server prod it's supposed to run on node 1 now fail back option that I was talking about we need to look into that there are a couple things that you need to basically look at that if you click on user setting keep in mind that if you haven't set the preferred owners it will be any uh, node right here as, as soon as you change the preferred owner um, of the node setting right here for that particular application then it's going to change to user settings that means somebody has set the preference of this particular application in my case is SQL Server prod so let's go on the failover tab right here and you will see um, failback option so failback option usually it's prevent failback right here that means it's manual it's not um, uh, automatic but if it's manual then even preference is set up to node 1 and node 1 came online and SQL prod that instance is failed over to node 2 and it's running on node 2 let's say that SQL UAT and SQL prod both are running on node 2 because node 1 went down it is not going to fail back automatically because you have up here setting prevent fail back so it is going to wait for your input to tell it that go back to your preferred node but if we set up allow failback right here as soon as its preferred node comes online it's gonna fail back which we're gonna see live in a second it's gonna fail back automatically so I'm going to go ahead and apply that and I'm going to go ahead and do same thing with UAT allow fail back immediate keep in mind for production a lot of folks uh, really do want it to have control you may run into a loop situation if you have a fail back um, automatically so uh, mostly uh, the DBAs like to have control that they would like to basically go and uh, fail back uh, on their own and they wanted system to wait for their input but if you really wanted to um, this is just for the demo purposes that what it means to have preferred node and automatic fail over so that's why I'm, I'm giving you this scenario I wanted to make sure that uh, if you see in your organization that that setting is not um, automatic there is a good purpose for that uh, because failback could run into a uh, loop back and forth back and forth and you will not be able to basically stop that so let's go ahead and uh, since this is running on SQL prod what I'm going to do I'm bringing down TBS node 1 and as soon as you will see that this node has gone down this will automatically fail over to uh, node 2 SQL prod and then we will bring the node 1 online and uh, we will not do anything since we set up automatic you will see that SQL prod detects that I'm supposed to run on node 1 so it will as soon as node 1 comes online it's gonna go back to node 1 on its own and that's what we're going to test whether this preferred node and automatic failover setting works for us or not so this is VM these nodes are my VMs right here so I can go and turn off node 1 and I am on node 2 so we'll go we'll watch basically live the action when I turn off the node one so what's gonna happen so let's go ahead and turn off node one alright let's go back to our cluster and you will see that as soon as the node one goes down let's see right here let me check this if this is waiting for our alright 
as you can see that it automatically shows that node 1 is going down let's look at the roles what's going to happen to the roles and you will see right here that it has gone to node 2 SQL server PROD is gone to node 2 so in this case right now node 1 is completely down everything is running on TBS node 2 so what we're gonna do next bring node 1 online and see if our SQL server prod which is supposed to run on node 1 goes back on its own so let's go ahead and turn on the TBS node 1 is starting right now it takes a little bit time to join the cluster since it's VM and I don't have much memory uh, let's go ahead and take a look on our cluster that what's happening so far it's down and it will show right here once uh, it started communicating uh, with that node 1 that it's joining and as soon as it's joined the joining is completed then it's gonna basically grab its resources what it's supposed to run and we'll look into our roles you can go ahead and keep refreshing that but I know that how long it takes basically to have our TBS node 1 up and start joining so it's gonna take um, two or three minutes for me basically in organization you will start pinging this as you can see right now it's joining and once the joining is complete let's go ahead and click on roles once joining is complete you will see that um, this SQL prod supposed to run on node 1 it should automatically go see it's going back to node 1 on its own we did not give any input as far as uh, uh, failing back but it knew that I'm supposed to run on node 1 and that's my preferred node and I have a fail back setting automatic so I'm not gonna wait for DBA input as soon as my node is up I'm going back to my preferred node so this is how basically pre preferred node settings work and what it exactly mean when we talk about preferred node setting right here the first preferred node order we changed that and uh, we changed um, we learned change failing over setting failing back I would say uh, right here manual or automatic and then how does the preferred node settings work we watched it live and I hope this helps